Luxury TV, your lifestyle channel. Welcome to Luxury TV, your lifestyle channel. So in this episode, we're coming to you from the Galleria Mall inside the Kempinski Hotel, where two artists are exhibiting their artwork. They are Ifia Prempe and then Gerard Chukuma, a Nigerian and then a Ghanaian. So both of them are exhibiting their artwork. So come with me, let me show you. All these beautiful artworks that you've seen here is um, artworks by one of the Ghanaian finest artists, Efia Prempe. We're going to find out from her the inspiration behind this um, artwork. Hello, Efia Prempe. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Wow. And you? These are beautiful artworks. Thank you so much. So, what's the inspiration behind these artworks? I would say that I derived some strength from my mom. Okay. She is the one that inspired me to be a strong lady, to forge ahead in life and to make something of myself. And that's the reason why I've been able to make this body of work of these powerful female artists, and which I don't exclude myself because I've had to go through so much to discover myself as an artist, to be the strong woman that I am today. So I'll say that my mom has inspired me a lot and I have her painting over there and I made her painting first and it is that painting that brought me here to make this residency and that has led me to make all these other paintings. Right, so how long have you been into painting? Oh, I would say close to over 10 years because I started painting when I was 16 years and I just developed myself over time. I decided to make this painting of my late mom to serve as a tribute to her. So in that moment of my loneliness and my darkest place, that's when this painting came about and all these images that you see here portray the life story of my mom. These pictures here, this is a picture of me. This is a picture of her when she was in high school with her friends. This is a picture of her also in her teenage years. This is um, one of her with my elder brother. This one portrays that of her religious belief. This one is just to talk about the fine things that she loved, the perfumes, her expensive kitty cloth, the high heels that she used to wear. So everything here just talks about the life story of my mom. So I believe that in that dark place that I found myself, when I begin to think, that was when I was inspired to create this piece of my mom. And if I only take this one home, how much would that cost me? I don't think you'll be able to pay because my mom, not in terms of money, because this painting is so priceless. Because it was a painting to my late mom and it was a tribute to her, I went through so many emotions to make it. And this painting actually took me three years to make, so you can actually imagine the hard work and the toil and the tears that went into making it. But then not to get you wrong, in between these three years, I made 30 other commissions and personal paintings for myself. There were just times that I had to stop it and then do other paintings, do other commissions. There were just times I just had to stop it and then just grieve over her and then come back to it. And that's how come it took that long span to make. But then I would say, that even though it feels as though I made this painting in my dark moment, it is this painting that has brought me to the light. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so that was Efia Prempe, and this is what she's trying to portray to the world. This is Africa to the world. Let's try to support one of our own. Hello, welcome to Luxury TV. Hello. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Kerry. Wow, where are you from? I'm from um, Brooklyn, New York, but wow. I live in Denver, Colorado right now. All right, so how long have you been here in Ghana? About two and a half weeks. Tell me your experience so far. How has it been for you? Um, I mean, in all of the galleries, I just, I've been blown away. The rep I just, I feel myself reflected, and, but the, the level of detail is important. I feel as, as an artist myself, I'm a, I'm a, um, a poet and a singer. Um, detail is important. It's, it's, it's how, it's how we make sure we really leave our mark in our work, right? And so, especially in, in this particular gallery with Afia, what I was telling a friend of mine is I really love seeing like the paintings of the pictures inside of the pictures, you know, um, the depth, um, the color, um, the, the realism. It's, yeah, it's been, it's been an experience. Blown away. Wow. I don't 
like to critique art. I'm an artist as well, so. But I will say um, it's very inspiring. It's very detailed. <laughs> My friends are laughing at me. <laughs> but yes, it was very breathtaking, very detailed. Um, I'm inspired by her, and she's very humble. So that also um, adds to the work. I'm actually really thrilled to be here because the art is so, so stunning. There are some amazing pieces here and the young artist is such a talented, talented individual. I'm, it's, it's a remarkable, honestly. Beautiful pieces all around us. You get such a sense of the emotion and the energy in each of these pieces and the real characteristic of each and every piece. So uh, it's fantastic. So where are you from? I'm from London. So how long have you been in Ghana? I have been in Ghana almost two weeks now. Wow, so what do you have to say about Ghana? Oh, I love Ghana. Ghana is beautiful. It's not, there's not enough time in the time that I've come to spend here to actually see it all. So I have to come back. All right, so enjoy, enjoy your stay in Ghana. Thank you very all much. Right. I didn't ask you your name, what's your name? Janelle. Wow, nice meeting you. You too. All right. I have with me the the man behind this actor. His name is Gerard Chokuma. Hello, Mr. Gerard. Welcome to Lashley TV. Thank you very much. Always more a privilege to show in Ghana. It's got a beautiful culture, beautiful people, very accommodating, and um, very quiet compared to Lagos. What's the inspiration behind these um, artworks? It's it, it, it's 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 titled Captured in Time. It's a two um, a two a two wing artwork like two branches in a tree is talking about culture but it's not talking about material and so when you capture material time like i use um you know cans from drinks i capture them and keep them for posterity wow. while i also capture the culture that it seems that they are forgetting and trying to document it that's that's what it's all about wow. so looking at these artworks i'm sure they are so much expensive oh, yeah, yeah. who are your target audience Target audience, I just want to show my work. I enjoy showing my work. Um, 1957 is, is a great gallery. Um, they, they have wide coverage. And you don't do something that you don't want people to see. I want people to see, to hear this, the message, to understand the story I want to tell. And to tell you the fact, 1957 knows how to do this. And so, who's my audience? Everybody. They put the bad and the ugly. Right. So, how long does it take you to? put up this artworks together, like let's say one of these artworks together? Um, I don't have a specific time, but for the entire show it took me two years to put up, so... Two it's years? Yeah, it's a while. Wow, that's a very long time. It is. There are some people who doesn't um, cherish artworks, some people just see it as a normal painting. I mean, what do you have to tell people when it comes to artworks? I, feel, I once went to a central bank office in Lagos, and um, it was so beautiful. It had white walls, it had beautiful gates. And the first thing that came to mind is that this is such a, a beautiful mortuary. You see, when art is not just culture, art gives you life. Art gives you hope. And art is everything. The way you cut your hair, the way you wear your shirt, the way you drive your car. Um, if art is taken out from life, life will be dead. Is this your first time exhibiting here? Yeah. It's, it's my second time of exhibiting. It's my fourth time of coming to Ghana. And I love Ghana. 
Thank you very much. So these are beautiful uh, words from you. Uh, Ghana and Nigeria always have this uh, argument when it comes to Jalof Rice. No comments. <laughs> so this has been our coverage of the artworks. We hope you've really enjoyed this um, artworks. My name is Raymond Rex Ariaga, and this is Luxury TV. See you in our next episode. Bye bye.